What's up beautiful people, hope everybody's having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to be taking you along with me as I explore the city of Porto in Portugal as I take as many photography shots that I can around the city. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell down below and let me know down in the comments what was your favourite image that I've taken in my video. Without further ado, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and enjoy! Boop. So. I'm, I'm currently staying at a small area in Porto called uh, Besta, Besta Vista or Be no, excuse me, Bella Vista so it's quite a, a 25 minute walk to the centre of Porto where most of the tourists and the attractions are so it's going to take me again 25 minutes still beautiful but I want to get closer to my the first attraction that I want to shoot we will go from there. Right now, I'm at the De Santa Catarina Road, and there's two things that I want to take a photo of. One is a long shot of that little cathedral there. It's like far, 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 far down there, and as well also this church over here. So I'm just going to find a few spots uh, that I can take and a few angles I want to take and we'll go to the next location to the photos. So that was the first location done. I took a picture of that and as well I took a long shot of that. I'm going to walk down a bit further and I'm going to take a close up of it. Uh, in addition to that, I'm going to go to the next location. So, right now there's a construction site uh, further down the road, so I'll have to make a slight detour around it. But regardless, we're going to get a bit more closer to that little cathedral and take more, a few more angles closer up. So right now we're going to actually go to one of the stations inside which has at least over 20,000 tiles of art. So let's take a look at that and we're going to take some photos before we head closer to that little cathedral. Fun fact, out of all these tiles that has been compiled together, there's actually one tile that is out of place. So, it is quite the challenge to actually find the, the missing tile. So, but if you do, congratulations. You are one of many, 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 many other people who have also discovered it. So you ain't that special <laughs> if you do find it. But if you do, you know, congratulations. So we're gonna take some of the photos afterwards of close-ups and we will go from there, get closer to the little cathedral. It. Continuing on to the cathedral now, which is over there on top of this thing. So I'm gonna go around, and what's up, and get closer to that cathedral, little palace, little thing, yeah, church. <laughs> now, avoiding the construction site, we are now going through the back alleyways uh, to go to the church or cathedral right now. So right now, it is a thing around. How I'm feeling, maybe like 25, 20, yeah, around 25 degrees, so it's hot, but it's bearable because it's not, it's not humid uh, compared to other places I've, I've been to. After the little detour past the construction site, now we are just going to see the Creigos Church and a Tower. So this is one of the oldest standing buildings in the So as we get a bit closer look, we're going to take a little detour around. I'm going to take a photo and go around at the back to take a photo of the tower and just see some angles. So this is the Clerigos church and tower. Boom, there's a church. Boom, there's a tower. Fantastic, lovely. So let's go and take some a uh, few images, take a few shots, and we'll see what's up with that. So 
So now I think she must go to church, had a little nap. And afterwards, now we're gonna go to a viewpoint called the Midadoro da Vitoria or Midadoro Mida Victoria. Alright, guys, this is Editor Christian here. It is brutal, okay? I do apologize for the pronunciation that is coming out of my mouth, okay? <laughs> the transition from Spanish to Portuguese is real okay it's very hard so just bear with me with this video hopefully it gets a bit better but oh my gosh oh it's bad okay <laughs> or oh, viewpoint of victory in translation so that's probably gonna take a quick a hot minute so that's really the opposite near the church and a little quick fact that this viewpoint shows the opposite side of Porto which is called Garam which also produces the port wine so technically port Porto didn't actually make port wine it was actually the opposite side called Garam Portal to so now finishing taking some photos of the viewpoint of victory I'm just gonna have a quick lunch late lunch uh, I want to get some a steak a sandwich uh, which is like a 15 minute walk because it's highly recommended so I'm gonna try that out and take a little break relax a little bit before going back out to it again so we we'll be sure to look forward to that and we will continue on the photography after my break so now, and they have a specialty of the beef steak sandwich so i'm gonna get that i might get the steak sandwich with the ham and cheese and then i think i just want a soda and port wine with tonga water yep soda and port wine with tonga water with a steak sandwich, yeah? I think we're gonna go for that. All right, cool. So now, just finished my steak sandwich. I'm now heading to another church, or Porto Cathedral. So that's where I'm heading to now. It's only a four minute walk, the place that I ate, to here, to the Porto Cathedral. So that's gonna be very good. In terms of the rating of the steak sandwich, I'll give that a average 5 out of 10. Simply because it's basically a steak sandwich. We're nearing the Sol de Porto or the Porto Cathedral, which is just right up ahead, very, very short. And then later on, once we get to the main highlight of it, uh, I'm gonna find a few locations uh, to shoot. And then we'll go from there. Next next minute we'll go down uh, by the river. So that's going to be pretty interesting once we get down by the river. There's, there's quite a few things there in terms of the food and the scenery. I think it's actually pretty nice. And now here we are now at the uh, the entrance of Portugal or Port Porto Cathedral. And now in the meantime, I want to take some photos I'm going to look at a few angles here and there where I can take And I'll show you guys in a little bit before we head down to the river Alright? Okay. 
So right now we're going to go to the Ponte Luis first, the bridge, if I pronounce that right, uh, which connects Porto to the other side. So uh, it's going to be a quick, quick little walk, I think three minutes down, and then we'll show you some more images afterwards. To the bridge that connects Porto to the other side. Fun fact, I am pretty much afraid of heights. Time to get out of here. I'm actually, my legs are getting kind of wobbly now. So I'm going to get out of here as soon as. Look at that view. Look at that view. Anyway, now on the other side, two ways. There. And under there, you can have two ways to go through to cross the other side. Ooh. So, other side, and it's actually kind of a tradition that people will chill out by this little hill on the other side and basically wait for the sunset to go down, which is a vibe, definitely a vibe. I'm gonna find a few more places to take some pictures, some images around this side and a lot of people. Bottom, 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 you can see. And if you do want, there is a cable car to take you from here all the way to there. So pretty cool. So we'll be taking a few photos on the hill we're gonna try and go on top of that big ass castle and then from there we will take a few more photos up there and see what is up with that and see if we can get some nice cool shots we'll conclude the end of the video and now we're at the very top okay. let's go to the edge as we draw closer to the end of the video, I would like to say thank you very much for staying to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed your time with me exploring the city of Porto, taking pictures. Nearing the end of the video, as I show you a time lapse of the sunset, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell for future videos coming up and let me know down in the comments down below what was your favourite picture and why. I will show you the last photos at the end of this time lapse so be sure to look forward to that. Without further ado, thanks once again. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Boop.